this is the week 6 in Masters of Sword and Shield. And today we're playing against Tig Tiger VGC, I think, is their name. And their team is San Antonio Sand Slashes. So what do we have here? Cinderace. Land, no Venusaur. Uh, Lantern could be annoying. Uh, Axelgor is also annoying if it has final gambit. Yeah, obviously Cinderace is a problem because I don't know what it's gonna do. I think I want to lead Zero or Magmortar here in in the doubles. No, I think I want Magnuson and Zubaril in the back. Don't really have much of a game plan, as usual, but um, I guess we'll see what happens. This is... Um, I'm 5-0 and... Uh, my opponent is 4-1, I think, so it's um, definitely a good opponent. Okay, we see the Coco Salamence. Hmm. Yeah, this is, isn't the best lead for me, I would say. I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna scorch in sense. There, that one, and pick up Salmons. Salmons is a threat. I'm gonna reveal my scarf straight away. But it's definitely worth okay, it's Shuka, good to know. Hopefully we get a burn here. Yes, we do. Although I, d I don't know if it's physical or not, but um... Yeah, it's not physical. Thunderbolt does some fair amount of damage. Um, honestly, I think I'll just play rough the Salamence because um, I don't really have a good switch in to Salamence. Mimikyu comes in and it's gonna take the Scorching Sands. Oh, Salamence is also Scarf, okay. Scarf Salamence, good to know, and it's physical. At least it breaks the skies, which is good for me. And now it's locked into EQ, which honestly isn't that good for me. Play rough, does. Yeah. Does do damage. Yeah, I don't really have a good play here, I think. Do I just sack the Magnezone? I think I do. Don't really have much to... I don't know. Magnezone... Yeah, that was actually a stupid play. Magnezone is pretty bad against... Obviously, at least um, Mimikyu is going to die now to liquidation. Now I have the fake out pressure, and he can't protect because we're. No way, he has three Pokemon left, so he can technically swap out Salamence if he wants to. This puts me in a pretty bad spot. I have to... Yeah, I don't... I don't think I'm gonna be... Wait a second. No. I 
Mm. Yeah, that was an obvious switch. Well, not an obvious one, but it was a good one. I'm gonna be losing this one because Aqua Jet is not gonna kill. Should have faked out this elements that would have actually given me a chance. Oh, Aqua just kills it? I didn't think it would. That's actually really good for me. Okay. So we have a chance now. Uh, I have to... Yeah, this is rough. I could sucker punch my Zero around with Cinderace. Which, in which case I don't really have much. This should kill. Oh, it doesn't kill. Neither does that. Yeah, then I'm gonna lose. If that Aqua Jet killed, I would have won. Close battle though. Really close. So, I know it's a Scarf. Scarf Salamence, that's actually really good information. Oh shit. Press the wrong. Yeah, we need to cancel the battle. I'll be back with the single battle. Alright, we're back with the singles. Game one of potentially more games than one, at least. Hmm. So, I'll definitely. I think I'll lead a Zoomeril in case. They chose to lead Excelgor, and the Zoomer also has a Sash, which is could be really useful. Um, I want Kyrm in the back for this. Also, do I want? I don't think I want Magnet Zone. I don't think it's too great to be honest. I think I go 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 look in Magmortar. There are could be okay, but um. Has a good speed here. But it's not the best in this matchup. Good luck, have fun again. Yeah, it is. It's gonna be the final gambit. So, Aqua Jet is good here, for sure. Yeah, that's really good for me. Let's see what it goes into then. Top of Coco, All right? Now, do I save this for later? Probably. Because I still have some decent HP. I think I can go into Gold or Carrots. Um, this is where Magnazone would actually have been really nice. Because it kinda. Yeah, it goes for the Thunderbolts. Now, what does he have? Doesn't have a good switch into Poltergeist, so I'm just gonna go for that. Could go for Ice Punch here. Nature's Madness. Okay. 
should have just clicked DQ then. Please don't miss. Oh yeah, it's the shift guy either way, so... Poltergeist is actually really nice. I'm just gonna go for Ice Punch, because I don't wanna... I should leave this, yep. I don't wanna risk missing Poltergeist. Mimiki comes in. I'll just Ice Punch. Might get a freeze if he pick up a sword stance here. Just go for Shadow Claw, okay. What do I have? Yeah, I guess. I guess this is the best thing I have for Mimikyu. Unfortunately, because it doesn't have a whole lot of defense. I'm just gonna go for Scorching Sands, probably, actually. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I get the burn. That's really lucky for me. Could have had um, Salamence in the back, I guess, but. Um, that's why I could have also gone for a Fire Blast. That does no damage whatsoever. I have Cure. Come on. Yeah, no. Nah. I think I'll just save this, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm ju I'll just keep using. Yeah, okay, so there is Salamence is in the back. Oh no, it's Cinderace. That switch doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Can't be burned, obviously, but um, Sucker Punch is the only thing they could have here. And I don't think it would kill. It is Life Orb, though. Maybe, maybe they didn't realize I was Scarf? Probably not, I'm guessing. Yeah, I don't think I can lose this now with uh, Mimikyu being burned. I'm expecting um, a Salamence to come now for game 3, so I just can't spam Scorching Sands. Is this AV Mimikyu? I feel like that no damage at all. I have no reason to switch though, I can just spam Scorching Sands here. Drain Punch. That's too little. I feel like that has to be AV to take that little damage though. Because Magmortar is uh, pretty strong. Not that Scorching Sands is the strongest attack, but um, it has a pretty high special attack stat. Actually, may maybe it's not an AB. I don't know. Mimikyu is decently bulky. Shadow Sneak. I'm guessing it's player off as well then. It's the last move probably. Which means Magnet Zone is actually a pretty good switch into this Pokemon. I think I'll bring Magnet Zone this time around. Play with the same rules. I will just lead a zoomer again. I'm expecting, I'm expecting him to lead Coco, but he doesn't know that I'm focus sashed. Oh shit! Which means um, I. Okay, thank you, game. Uh, which means 
I can uh, just liquidate and then uh... he's asking me what my last Pokemon was I'll answer him afterwards I don't want to reveal it because um, I'll probably bring Kyurem again uh, yeah I'll lead a zoomer in because it just pretty much does well against everything. This time I'm gonna have Magnus on the back. I'm not gonna bring Golurk, I think. Gonna have Kyurem and Magmartar. Yeah. Alright, we're back. He only selected three Pokemon, so we had to restart the battle. Oh, sorry about the noise from my chair. Same leaves though, it was uh, it's land turn against Azumarill, so... I'll just... I'm wondering if... In, yeah, it's probably... Volt Absorb. I do have Volt uh, those though, so I'm just gonna use that. It's not the strongest move, but um, it should be faster. Toxic, okay. I didn't know Lantern had Toxic, even. In this gen. Bulbas doesn't do that much. It's leftovers, okay. I would just go into Magazone here, because there's uh, no reason not to, right? Switch maybe here, probably. So yeah, Magnus on that might not be the best play, I guess. But oh, oh well. If it was a two-hit KO with Bulldoze, I would just aim, but uh, didn't do quite enough. Yeah, that works for me. I'm not really scared of Mimikyu. Just gonna flash cannon here. Brain punch. I don't think it's going to be too. Oh, it does. Wow, that's a lot more than I thought. Oh, yeah, that was a crit. Kind of figured. I'll just flash cannon again, because it should probably knock it out. A max special attack. And I'm an analytic. Yeah, Lantern comes in. Still gonna be boosted by analytic, so it's gonna do some. Although it's four times resisted. It's not that strong, I guess. This is probably... Mm, I don't know if this is gonna be... I mean, I might as well find out, right? It's, I, I'm gonna say it's water absorbed since it let it. That's not gonna do much to me. Get this to burn, that's fair, because I got the burn last time. Yeah, it's water absorbed. Lantern goes down. Nice. And now I can. Honestly, I can just go back into Azumarill, because I feel like I have a pretty good pretty good matchup with it, in general. Hmm. Yeah, this is an interesting game for sure. Yeah, Coco comes in. Obviously not the best for me. Might as well just go into... Into Magnus on air. 
probably not gonna... That's a crit, right? Oh, it's not. I thought it would do any... I just thought it would do less, to be honest. Seeing how it's four times resisted and I have AV. But it's still Tapu Koko in... In electric terrain. Yeah, so I'll go into Magmortar here. Question is... Did he bring... Did he bring Salamence? I'm pretty sure he did, right? Yeah. Should have figured. It's fine though. It's Scarf, so... Would expect it to go for EQ. So it's Coco and Mimikyu in the back. I don't think EQ 2 hit KOs. 2 hit KOs cure. Although I could be wrong. I don't think it would go for anything other than an Earthquake. Oh yeah, this is good for me. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Just gonna do it. Yeah, I think I just sub, right? In case it stays in. I think I need to go for it with the Dragon Dance here, because it's going to Drain Punch here, to break my sub. But now I'm faster. So, uh, yeah. Does he even have play rough, then? I'm gonna go have to go for the Isaac and Spear here. One hit. Two hit. Ooh, does he knock it out? Please, please, please. Yes, it does. Okay. Now we're in a really good spot. I guess Salamence could technically still be faster. It's uh, it's base 100, right? Isn't it? What move would it have, though? Guessing it has to go for a dragon move here. Pretty much. Right? Yeah, I can just sack a Sumeril and hope that he goes for a dragon move. Just spam liquidation here. I don't need to go for the ice punch. I'm pretty sure liquidation into Aqua Jet would kill Tapu Koko, to be honest. That's close. I don't actually, I don't know about that actually. What's the play here? I think... Mm, yeah, I don't... Liquidation is base... 
base 80 or 85. I don't think Aqua Jet is doing enough. I think the safest play is to go into Magmortar here. Oh, he also does the double. Nice. Okay. Cool. Is it Moxie? No, it's. Oh, no, I'm stupid. Of course, it's not Moxie. It's Intimidate. So, what I. What do I go into here? I think I can go into Kyurem. It's a bit risky, but um, it is what I'll do. Air Slash, that shouldn't. Ooh, is that a 2 hit KO? I don't know, actually. I don't think so, right? I guess it could flinch me, that's the possibility. In which case I'm pretty sure I lose. I'm just gonna stay in quick click icicle spear. Please no flinch, please no crit. Okay, good. One hit. Oh I should have why didn't I dragon that dance there? I guess it doesn't really matter. No, actually, it was uh, would have been worse to Dragon Dance, maybe, possibly. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think I can lose at this point because um, I'm faster with uh, faster with Magmortar. Scorching Sand. Does Scorching Sand... Yeah, no, 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 no. it doesn't matter, because like, Scorching Sand is still going to do enough to put it in range of, um, of Aqua Jet, because I, I forgot that I had the Shuka there for a second. So I don't think this is going to kill, but uh, Aqua Jet will always kill. And I get the burn. I don't think Thunderbolt will kill either when there's no terrain. Oh yeah, that was such a close set. Um, we managed to take it. So now we're 6-0, uh, which is incredible. Um, yeah, that was the closest set I've had for sure. Uh, some really cool sets and some really good switches and everything. So yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, I'll be back next week with week 7. And we'll see if we can keep the undefeated streak going. Hopefully we can, but you never know. Alright, see you!